Hi, I'm Paolo Nespoli, Italian astronaut of the European Space Agency. The case was Expedition 52-53. Uh, we did uh, 300 plus experiments between us in space, six astronauts from uh, Russia, the United States and Italy. It's very difficult as a kid to figure out what you really want to do. So you, I, I, would, I would tell uh, kids that they, you really need to look into yourself and understand what are your passions. Challenge yourself uh, uh, from a practical point of view as uh, from an intellectual point of view. So grow with all of this, put everything together and really decide what you want to do when you grow up, what you can do when you grow up and, and, and start going and working on it. Communication is one of the basic uh, tools that we have to uh, relate with other people. Uh, they, you, you can be a great scientist, uh, but if you're closing your lab and you're doing incredible things and you're not able, you're not able to communicate them, then uh, you, know, you, you missed uh, a lot of the capabilities that you have. I would, I would tell people that you need to work on this and make sure that, that your communication style and capabilities are as high as they can be. Superman and Spider-Man were the two heroes when I was a kid. I, I still remember reading those uh, science fiction books and, and imagining of being a Superman and Spider-Man. And then later on when I grew, I understood those are characters that live in the imagination of people. And so I, I actually looked around and I could see you know, scientists, I could see uh, engineers, I could see pilots, I could see explorers. Uh, I mean, all the, all the people that have done, real people that have done something incredible. And then uh, later on when I was uh, in space, I actually managed to fly around uh, in zero G and actually be Superman and Spider-Man. That was really interesting. All of us try to be the best uh, we can be, but it actually happens, especially if you are in space in an unforgiving environment, in an environment where you, you start working early in the morning and every day, all day, you're doing all series of uh, complex activities uh, that requires attention, that requires uh, a lot of, of, uh, of uh, knowledge. Eventually, you're gonna make a mistake. If you do not have a team there ready to catch this mistake, ready to help you not to make a mistake, uh, the situation can be very disastrous. So in space, as everywhere else, uh, the team counts and, and it's, uh, it's more what the team can do than what that single person can do. So failure is it's, uh, it's something that does not scare me. Uh, I know that failure can be very tough from a physical and psychological point of view, but I always try to think uh, uh, at a failure as a moment of learning. If you, are, if you are able to take this failure, pick out the important lesson learned, and then take the rest and throw it away, that's a good way of uh, continuing your life and, and be sure that you're ready for next time and not fail and go forward.